Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we are back with an episode of Clash of Clans. And guys, I want to show you the first, I think, three or four hits. Uh, the war is still 20 hours to go, but it's alright. First hit is a Town Hall 12, is the Town Hall 12. And look at this. It's pretty OP. Is it one of the best strategies to hit and to get a good uh, a good reward? So I I start here with a queen walk, as you guys see here. I took the Tesla. I dropped the king on the opposite side to funnel my queen in. And as you guys see there, uh, the queen is going through the elixir storage, and then it's gonna go hit the cannon, hit the archer tower. I drop a rage there because the clan castle is coming out, and it's coming out two dragons out of there. I just released my wall breakers. My wall breakers were not I don't like for, for travel. So uh, what I did is I uh, dropped the poison and I got the clan castle out of the way. I still have the king uh, funneling the left side of the base. Queen is going to the right. So I dropped my miners and my hogs there near the queen. So uh, they take the, a little distraction. The queen will get to the king. And I'm going to be dropping a hill. And then look at this, I popped the Warden's ability as the troops go into the Inferno. No big deal, a lot of, pe a lot of troops uh, got hit the spring traps and went away, some hogs. But no problem, watch this attack. Mine is still on the outside, hogs in the middle. I dropped the siege, um, the siege machine right here. And I'm taking the Inferno with the Yetis. And look at this game. I think I'm even going to swag the queen's ability guys this it's amazing strategy like many many of the pro players are using queen walk hog miners or some hybrid attacks but look at this this is unreal it's very good very efficient and you see there i popped the queen's ability i got the wizard tower out of the way we're gonna get the bump tower and that's a walk in the park for the first attack and this was me with my town hall 12 all right this is not it. Let's go back to the next one. All right, next one, I attack a, a Town Hall 11. So let's see, as you guys see here, that's a Town Hall 11, so easy. But we still have to manage to win. So I dropped the Loon, testing Loon, so I thought uh, to check, make sure there was no Seek Air Mines. And I started my Queen Walk. I'm gonna just put it two times forward, so they go faster. So now actually let's go on a real time. It's better off. So you guys will learn how to do it. So Queen Wall come in there and clean out the storage. I drop another two looms there for sick air mines and also to get that uh, the archer tower out of the way, that cannon. Sometimes helps, sometimes don't. But uh, my healers got targeted there by the air defenses. No big deal. I dropped the hogs, I dropped the miners and Grand Warden. And over here, as you guys see here, I got the Siege Barracks. Siege Barracks carries uh, Yetis and a Wizard. So I popped the Warden's ability there to hold my Hogs without dying. Because the Clan Castle came out, there was a Ice Golem and some Witches and Archers there. Which is a pain in the butt to get through it. But let's go. I dropped the second heal there to keep my Hogs and my Miners alive at a core. And that's it. Uh, my heart here is not maxed. It's pretty much a hero's at Town Hall 11, but uh, it's actually, uh, we don't have a grand uh, royal champion either. So the Hogs, as you guys see, the Hogs do an amazing work here on the towers. I pop the King's ability on the outside. So to take some of the defenses, funneling the miners inside. And look at this. So we still have, what, Warden? We still have so many troops. And pack it on the outside. Look at how many miners. Look how many miners we have. That's why I'm saying this is strong. This is unbelievable. That's a good, good, good hit. Good combination, good combo. All right, guys, this is over. Let's go back to my friends. Great, Rosemary, you that he did a hit. And uh, I think uh, he did number 13. All right, yes, he did number 13. And he attacked Wood, Packers, Packers Smash, Bowler, Packers Smash. He starts, I think he's going to start here. Let me see. I think he start on this corner here. Let me see. He doesn't drop anything, and he's bringing bats. All right, he drops the the wrecker there with the ice golem. I would have did the opposite. I would have dropped the ice golem, then the wrecker. But actually, the wrecker got behind. The ice golem went to tank for the wrecker, so that's pretty dope. Pretty good. Good treasure. He dropped the electro dragons, one on each side, just to funneling. And look at this. All the troops gonna go inside. 
Now the clan castle come out with a baby dragon, a dragon archers, and a witch. And uh, witches are bad. Witches are bad. Dragon's even worse. You have to kill him. Otherwise, it's over. But he has a major, major troops on the center. As King is on the outside funneling. He's helping out. And look at this. You still have two eyes. He dropped the other rage right now to get him through. And he's going to get the eagle. He trapped the, what do you call it? He trapped the tornado trap right there. He activated. Uh, the inferno locks into a backup, which is no good though. I don't like when they lock into the main, like, pretty much the troops that you need. Uh, the other inferno locks into the king, takes the king away. Right now, he only has the troops that are in the core, his queen ability, two freezes, and five uh, bat spells. And look how is he going to do this. Bat spells are good if you have, of course, single infernos. And you got to be careful on the wizard towers because you have to freeze them quickly and smartly. You can't smear, you can't like uh, freeze them too late. You cannot freeze them too early. So this is what's going to be. Look at that. This is in... Like, I think you wait way too long for those for those bad spells, but it still worked out. As you guys see here, uh, Inferno locks into the Ice Golem. What he freeze the defense, freeze the Inferno. And here he comes the bats. He drops the bats there. And he drops the other ice. Bats are still for mating. Look at this. He takes the, the, the what do you call the Wizard Tower. And now it's a walk in the park. Look, so many bats. The one single inferno. It's not even a chance. Now that triple there, and let's see if we have any other attacks to show. I'm gonna show you guys another another attack of mine with my main account, and I, I messed up. I messed up big time. I came this way, as you guys see. Uh, let me slow it down. I came this way, but I threw the wall breakers a little bit too late. So I'm pulling out the clan castle. Two expos I had in my queen. So it's a ton of damage going through. So I dropped the poison spell there to get the loons out of the way. Clean the clan casting and all of that crap. Like one of the ice clones die of course if it's my queen. So I have to drop another rage spell. And my queen is frozen again. It's taking a ton of damage. And look at this. But since they went wrong. My drop. What I did is I dropped a wizard and I dropped the king to the expos. I dropped another rage spell on my queen to funneling in right look at this i get the air defense i'm gonna get uh that thing there and then i'm gonna go for the wizard and i gotta freeze the inferno i freeze the inferno we're gonna get the scatter shot and i'm gonna get the single inferno as well right here i popped the queen ability and i got it okay of course one side is clean up no problem queen comes towards the the center I drop a loan for the Archer Tower, and then, guys, I drop all my Hogs, Miners, everything here with my Royal Champ. I throw the, the, the what do you call, uh, my uh, Siege, and Siege go, Airy goes to the clan. I use my Warden's ability there, and look at this. The Yetis on a core, like, they take the, the Town Hall easily. That's not a doubt. My Hogs on the outside doing the work. Miners went to the center too to help out. The healers switch over from the queen because the queen died and they went to the miners and the hogs. Would have helped a little bit. I activated the tornado trap that did delay a little bit and then this single inferno just killed me. I had to pop the, my royal champion ability. Like you see my royal champion ability took out the enemy king. I'm like three quarters of the way in health and uh, the hogs going to the inferno but I'm gonna pop my queen's uh, like a royal champion ability here. I get the single inferno out of the way. We get the cannon, and guys, this is what is sad. Like I get the cannon, the the mortal. We get the archer tower. We I get the air defense. I'm gonna get every single defense with my royal champion RC. And look at this. She's almost dying. She got the cannon, and then the worst is about to come. It's clean up time, guys. Clean up times that I did not get. And that's what screw up all my attack. As you guys see, Real Champion is cleaning up. 10 seconds to go. And we are at 91, guys. 92, 93, and 94. And time is up. This is painful. So, guys, I hope you guys are <laughs> going to enjoy this attack. Hopefully, 
Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be start bringing uh, Clash of Clans to the channel uh, along with PUBG Mobile. So, guys, uh, I'm dedicating myself to do the best content ever out there. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy it. And I'll try my best to bring the best attacks, the best tragedies. And I have a ton of content coming for Clash of Clans. Uh, do like pro leagues, pro players, attacks, strategies. Guys, it's amazing. So hopefully you guys like and enjoy, share, subscribe. And what can I say? Guys, thank you so much. See you on the next one. Until then, peace out.